everyone happy thursday um delighted to be taking over the great british zombie live um, instagram account today with my wee man look um <laughs> we'll be popping up to the sewing room in a couple of hours i just have a wee few errands to do first yes so we'll be popping up to the sewing room in a couple of hours i just need to pop out to the shops and get a couple of things first um i'd like to take you through some of my maybe my previous handmade garments um, a wee tour around my sewing room and show you what's on the table at the moment. Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my sewing room in sunny Northern Ireland. Today I am going to take you around all the nooks and crannies of this gorgeous room, um, show you some of my fabrics, um, lots of my patterns. I have so many patterns, I have like two boxes of vintage patterns. I have a box or two of modern patterns and I ordered a stash of new patterns that were on sale from J Cots on Monday and the postman has delivered them. I think I actually might open um, the box of patterns um, while you guys are here and um, just to see what I'm working on or hoping to work on at the moment. Um, a couple of them I can't show you uh, because I'm working on a couple of wedding dresses at the moment. Yeah, here it is. Here's the box of patterns. I am like a kid at Christmas when the postman delivers patterns. So, um, let's have a wee nosy and see what I got. Okay, so first up we have the Simplicity 8329. It's a formal dress. I absolutely love the sleeves on this dress, so that's why I picked that one. I have the Simplicity Easy 2247. It's an amazing fit. The amazing fit simplicity patterns are fabulous. Guys, all these patterns I bought are half price at the moment. Um, when I say we have price sale, I can't help but go on and have we nosy and pick up a few more, a few more patterns to work on um, and then get them sneaked into the house so the husband doesn't see. A couple of vintage patterns here, guys. Um, the Butterwick B5880. It's a wee vintage inspired dress. Um, gorgeous. The Bullerick B6398. It's actually gloves. Um, I'd love to make my own gloves um, to sort of finish off. So yeah, I've never made gloves before. Has anyone made gloves? Um, I go to a lot of horse racing shows and enter into best dressed competitions with my handmade garments and I think that the gloves can really finish off an outfit. Okay, and the one last pattern I can show you that I bought is Window valances, is that how you say it? Val valances. Um, my house has no curtains on at the moment and for a seamstress I should really have curtains on the windows. Mm. Okay guys, so what have you got on your sewing table at the moment? And tell me this, are you coming along to the Great British Sewing Bee Live event which is next month? Um, I, ca I cannot wait to jump on the plane and come over and see everyone again. It is going to be a fabulous event. If you haven't got your tickets yet, um, over on my Facebook page, Angela Murphy Design, there's the link. Um, I'm giving away five sets of tickets to five lucky people um, for entry into the event. So pop over and enter. Okay guys, I'm going to give you a quick tour around my sewing room. We moved house last year and I have been lucky enough to have a whole room dedicated to sewing and all things craft. So let's go. I'm just going to add a wee disclaimer before I show you around the sewing room. Um, I have tidied it. It's not normally this tidy. So if your sewing room is messy like mine usually is, do not feel guilty. I have tidied for the occasion. Okay, let's kick off with the sewing table. Uh, my husband made this a couple of years ago. Uh, it's a great big table in the middle of the sewing room. It has storage spaces at the bottom and a nice wee area for my sewing machine. Guys, this is my absolutely fantastic sewing machine. It's the Genomi Horizon. It's actually the machine that we used on the show. It has so many different stitches. It is a beast of a machine. I absolutely love it. And you know what? Sad as I am, one of my favourite features is the automatic cotton tool at the end of a stitch. I don't have to use the scissors anymore. It's just a wee button and cuts it off. Most of the storage in my sewing room I actually got out of Ikea. It is fantastic for storage. Um, these contain all of my patterns and all of my fabric. Nice, neat and tidy. All the mess hidden.
I wish I could show you all of my fabrics, but I absolutely have so much of it. I'm definitely a hoarder, like most <laughs> most stitchers. Um, I do try and keep them all nice and separate, like have the lace, the chiffon, the satin in different boxes. I have three tailors dummies. This one is goes from size 6 to size 12. This one is probably just for show. And the other one I have hidden in behind is a size 14 to 20. I got these wee storage boxes recently in Ikea. I think they're literally like £12 each. And I keep all my little bits and bobs in each of the compartments. So threads, um, appliques, bias I would say probably one of my best storage buys um, for my sewing room. So it's handy to keep everything sort of separate as well. Um, and then know where to find things. Guys, I have these wee shelves as well all around the room. Um, they're handy for all of my books and any sort of cards I get as well. Just again, space saving. Um, it's fab. Okay, so you've given me the excuse to try on a few of the garments that I've made over the last number of years. I will show you what patterns I used and also tell you how I've adapted the patterns to make the garments a wee bit more interesting and quirky. Okay guys, so this is the first dress I'm going to show you. Um, the bodice is taken from the Simplicity 1606 pattern. Um, I have attached a waistband and then self-drafted a large high... So the high-low skirt that I self-drafted um, includes two wee tiny pleats at the front um, and falls nicely at the back, if you can see, right down to the back of the heel. Um, just because, like most of my designs, my features always lie at the back. Um, one of my signature looks is the massive bow um, and also the low back. Um, as I said to Patrick Grant, make an impression as you walk away. Okay guys, this is the second dress I've picked out, probably could do if we press. Um, this is a long length formal dress. It is a Berta 6869. Um, it was made for a formal event. Look once in on the action too. Um, it was actually a breast cancer awareness um, formal event that I went to and they encouraged people to wear pink so I decided to make my own dress and add a touch of pink. So there is a train. Okay guys, this is the last wee number I'm going to show you um, today. This is a wee summer dress that I made for a wedding in Australia. And it's going to be Cat Kids and inspired skirt and a lace bodice. Believe it or not guys, the bodice lace was actually made from a bed sheet that I picked up in a second hand store. Um, so I was able to upcycle that. Um, this gorgeous trim that was already bias bound and everything. If you can see, the back of the dress um, is actually made with an invisible zipper the whole way down. Um, this gorgeous gold zipper which really does add detail um, to the back of the dress. Thanks everyone for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed uh, my takeover of the Great British Sewing Bee Live event uh, Instagram page. I am really looking forward to this event in September and I hope to see most of you there. I am teaching on the Saturday and Sunday. Uh, one of my workshops is now completely full. That's the making a memory bar. Um, so it's sold out guys so you can't join me in that one. But my other sewing class, there's a few spaces left. The class that I have a few spaces left for is adding a peplum to um, your garments. So that's either adding a peplum to an existing skirt or adding a peplum to a top. Um, it was inspired by my garment of the week one. So guys, if you haven't booked yourself into a workshop yet, um, book yourself on to my peplum um, workshop. Look, it's going to be a great crack. Um, you will meet new friends and you'll probably learn a thing or two. So that's me guys, thanks very much for tuning in today and watching my Instagram takeover. 
the Great British Sewing Bee Live page. Um, if you're at the show, come over, say hello, and we'd be delighted to see you. Night, night.